looking to find Mitrovic, it was blocked, but falls for Tom Kearney. Harrison Reed onto the loose ball, feeds it for Wilson once more. Swings the cross in with his left foot, Mitrovic, there it is, one apiece. Alexander Mitrovic has done it again. And it needed a well-placed header from a striker who just can't stop scoring goals. Yeah, maybe so, Jamie, but uh, here comes Kenny Tetty swinging across here. Mitrovic is under it. And it's in, Niskic Kibano, it's two apiece. What a game this is turning out to be. Still got four and a half minutes of this first half remaining. I'm leading by three goals to two. There's Get Mitrovic. It. Did I say three, two? Alexander Mitrovic has done it again. It's four, two to Fulham. The corner from the left-hand side. He's got up early, Mitro. Tim Ree, forward for Carvalho. Stuns it into the path of Tom Kearney. This is lovely from Fulham. The left foot is pass finds Mitrovic. There it is. 5-2, 5-2 to Fulham. The hat-trick for Alexander Mitrovic. The second first half hat-trick of the season for the big man. Unbelievable, Jamie. He starts on 24 goals, which is ridiculous from 24 games. He's now gone bang, 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 25, 26, 27. It's quite incredible and a great finish. Lovely work from Carvalho and Tom Kearney. We know he's got that quality. Right, I think so, Jamie. It's a straight a pass. And there it is, it's 1-0. Well, as soon as you said that, it's turned across. Harry Wilson can't believe his luck, Jamie. I don't think, as you say. Plays it into Tom Kenny. The wall pass, looking for the run of Harry Wilson. The sliding challenge came in. He's uh, given it. He's given the penalty. Yeah, I was going to say he caught a little bit. It's Alexander Mitrovic is about to uh, belt this penalty, hopefully pass Luke Southwood to make it 2-0 to Fulham. Get and it! it does. Almost a sensational bit of play there from uh, Harry Wilson. Anthony Robinson finds Mitrovic. It's threatening now. Robinson across for it, the face of goal and it's 3-0. And that surely must be it now. Three points in the bag and it's Harry Wilson again. Pretty much a tapping, but we've opened them up with good play there. That's no... Nothing fluky or nothing uh, gift-like about that one. It was good work from Fulham. Yeah, the signs are good, Jamie, as you say. There could be a fourth and a fifth there. At, uh, not out of the question by any means. There's the header from Mitrovic and it's in. I think it's uh, come off Kenny Tetty, that. In which case, it could be his first goal for Fulham, is it? But uh, yeah. There are sixes and sevens at the moment. Here's Mitrovic finding Harry Wilson feeds it across. It's 5-0. It's Niskin Skibano. Another tap in really because we've opened them right up. Alexander Mitrovic picking out the run of Harry Wilson into the box. And Harry just rolling it across to the far side of the goal. Corner coming in for Fulham. There's a header. It's 6-0. It's tossing, I think. A well-placed corner by Harry Wilson, and it's so simple, Jamie. It's just a, a very well-struck corner and a very good, clean header. Eight minutes of the first half remaining. 2-0 to the Super Lily Whites. Cabano finds Robinson, cross into the box. Well, yes! Fabio Carvalho, and it's 3-0. Well, it's becoming repetitive now, this script, but... Uh, Lovely run down the left-hand side, the ball in. I think that's got to be his first heady goal for the club, is it? He's, uh, he was on fire early in the season. He got one on Saturday and he's added another. Here's Harry Wilson onto his left foot, working his way across the penalty area, pushes it for Cubano. Back for Carvalho to Tom Kearney. It's under his feet, but he's put it in. Wow. <laughs> It's 4-0 to Fulham. Well, almost uh, an immediate reply there from Fulham. There you are. Yes! Two. Yeah, well, that's the way to react, Jamie. And that's the great thing about it. We did it Saturday twice. That's the reaction you want. They were disappointed, I think. You know, the first, second half had been a little bit flat after such a great first half. They weren't happy about conceding the goal. The gap just down to two, all of a sudden, Birmingham fancy their chances, their fans getting a little bit noisy. And Fabio Carvalho up the other end with his second goal of the game. He just worked it across the edge of the penalty area onto his right foot, 
back to front. I can understand that. But why bypass midfield? Now Schmodix is in behind the Fulham defenders. That's great work from Marek Rodak. Dennis Adoy didn't stay on his feet, Jamie. If he'd have got a bit more contact on the player there, he could have been in big trouble. He's on a yellow card already, Dennis. Marek Rodak came and closed the angle down. Schmodix got the shot on target. It's bundled behind by the Fulham keeper for another corner. Left hand channel just wide of uh, Marek Rodak's there, right hand left post. Hand side, he's moved away. Well, he's got the goal. Marek Rodak's forced to make the save. Yet yeah, 20 minutes remaining. There's a chance now for uh, Peter Burrow. Good save. It was Schmodix again. He's got in between the Fulham defenders on a number of occasions. Only a tiny little fella, Jamie. Only five foot six, maybe, as he's. Uh, like a throwback you don't often see uh, he gets away from Bobby Decker Dover Reed he's got uh, Clark Harris to his right finds him tries to go past Tim Ream the shot pushed against the post by Marek Rodak he got plenty of power in the shot and Marek's come to the rescue there he just got his fingertips to it pushed it against the far post Clark Harris I think is going to shoot Jamie he fancies it but he can curl this with his left foot I think Marek Rodak on his toes on the goal line, it's well struck, but he's pushed it behind. Well, Kenny Tetty kept it in, it won't go for a corner. The referee's checking his watch. Kenny Tetty's conceded the throw in. Good save from Marek Rodak, certainly uh, in these sort of conditions. Well, that's certainly got the bet 365 rocking, but thankfully, as we've said uh, recently in the past, particularly against Bristol City, you know, there's. Uh, there's plenty of time to go. If you're going to concede, you might as well concede early. And now Fulham at the yes! other end. And it's one apiece. And it's Rodrigo Muniz. He's in for Alexander Mitrovic. <laughs> and, he's, uh, and he's closed the gap on him in terms of goals. It's going to be another sensational game of football, Jamie. I don't know what's happened. This uh, magic dust has been sprinkled on Fulham in recent weeks. We saw it against Bristol City conceding the early goal and went straight down the other end. Harrison Reed squared it across. It's a great goal really from Muniz. I can't think it could have happened very often at all to see a goal go in in the first minute and then another in the second minute. Generally, the opposing side sort of settles back in. There's a chance for Bobby Decker to overread. He's onside, he's been pushed wide a little bit, but pulls it back. Carvalho, well, it's gone in off the post. I didn't think he got quite enough on it. 2-1 to Fulham, they were looking across the Stoke City players for a flag to go up and it didn't, not a great deal of power, it trickled towards the net but it's gone off, it's gone in off the inside of the post, or it might have touched Muniz, did it on the way through looking at that replay, Reed leaves it, Tom Kenny will swing it in with his left foot, it's a decent delivery, up go the heads, Muniz got there first from uh, 10 yards or maybe slightly more, got the header on target, and he raises one arm, swings it in, it's a dangerous ball and it's hit, oh it's hit the crossbar, and it's in. Yes! <laughs> and Bobby, Bobby Decker over Reed. It's a great header from Muniz. It was, and then on the half volley, I think Bobby Decker over Reed got up well. Muniz he again couldn't uh, couldn't have done a better impression of Mitrovic if he was trying, but the header didn't go in. It's hit the crossbar, but when it's come out, he's just inside the penalty area, Bobby. But uh, Blackburn have given it away. Mitrovic. Feeds it out for Harry Wilson, right-hand side. Pushes it forward for Bobby Decker Dover Reed, heading for the byline. Lovely little turn into the box, he's done well. Pulls it back, Niskins Kibano, yes. it's 1-0 to Fulham. And unlike, uh, there was an occasion early in the game on, at the weekend, weren't there, when Niskins got to the byline, pulled it back for John michel Seri, who pumped it over the bar. On that occasion, Nick got the, uh, the outcome it deserved, really. The lovely little run from Bobby. And that's a top quality finish to put Fulham in front. 30 yards out, as I say, in line with this near post. Cabano rolls it back for Tom Kearney, finds Harry Wilson. Right hand side, back for Kearney, pushes it into the box. Cabano turns, right footed shot. Well, it's in, I think it might have taken a slight deflection, possibly off Teo Eden. Or another Blackburn player who threw himself at it, but it'll be Niskins Cabano's goal, I'm sure. And that's his second of the game. He's on a hat trick now. A great turn from Niskins, created the space for himself to get the shot away. Slight deflection, as I say, which might have done the keeper, but plenty of power in the shot. It was on target. I'm sure it's Niskins' goal. 5-0 to Fulham. Here's Kibano, the short corner played to him by Tom Kearney. Kibano returns it to TC. Back for Kibano, right-hand side. 
Swings the cross in with his right foot. It's 6-0. And it's Muniz, I think. It He's is. got the touch. He's doubled his goal tally as well. Rodrigo Muniz. And a good poacher's finish when the ball was whipped in by Nizkin Cabano. Plenty of pace on the cross, but he's got there first. He's got the right contact in the uh, in front of goal. Pushes it back for Nico Williams. Inside right position, swings the early cross here, Mitrovic. Well, wasn't too far away. I think he suggested to the referee that he was dragged to the ground there, Mitro. He got his head onto it. They've thrown everything uh, at us, come forward and tried to nick a goal, and they've managed to do it. From the corner, but uh, they've lost possession here. Nico Williams going forward, finds Harry Wilson right hand side of the penalty area. Back to Bobby Decker Dover Reed, and now it's 4 1 to Fulham, and it's Nico Williams with his first goal for the club. It's one way traffic, is Ivan Cavalero for Fulham once more. Left hand side, checks back onto the right foot, stands to the defender up, turns it into the path of Anthony Robinson on the overlap. The cross coming in, it's headed away to Nico. And he's done it again, Nico Williams. And that is an absolute perler. As it was headed away, he's waiting just over 20 yards from goal. Took it on his chest, Jamie. The right-footed finish on the volley is sublime. This kid is sensational for me. It's 5-1 to Fulham and Nico Williams has added his second. And again, it's as sweet a strike as you're ever going to see. The keeper despairing dive to his right at full stretch he can't get anywhere near it what a player this is here's a corner coming in Bobby Reed heads it in across goal and oh it's bundled over or bundled down on the has line it gone in? Oh, I think it might have gone in I think it has gone in it's 2-0 to Fulham <laughs> oh it's really a, such a strange afternoon the uh, lead has been half, but here come Fulham. Josh Onema, fed through by uh, Carvalho. Finds Bobby Decker, Dover Reed inside the box. Good footwork from him. Squares it across. Carvalho! Yes! Come on! 3 1. 3 1 to Fulham. The uh, two goal lead restored. And that's quality, Fulham. That is quality. 18 minutes into the second half, but he's then been shown a red card on 72 minutes for allegedly kicking out. Here's Ivan Cavalero just on, and he's nipped it in, and that's it. Good night, God bless. 4-1 to Fulham, and Ivan Cavalero. What an introduction. Ivan Cavalero there was like grease lightning going through the middle, took it on his chest, and what a lovely little finish. He just dinked it over the on-rushing goalkeeper. We talk about him sometimes not being a great finisher, Ivan, but uh, he got the winner here last Last time we were up here with a great goal, and that I think is the icing on the cake. Hopefully, we're taking the three points home. Dick Steele, the uh, Dutchman for Middlesbrough, threads it down the right hand channel from their point of view. Tim Reams there to cover down by the left hand corner flag. Good defending from Tim. Lumley with the free kick. Crooks for the header forward. Tim Ream once again in the right place and he turns it to Joe Bryant. Tim Ream there once again to cut out the dangerous. Uh, they try to find what more down the right hand channel. Long ball out. To the left hand side and oh, that could easily have been 1 0. It's Crooks. And then there was a save or a block. It's gone over, up and over for a corner, but uh, it should have been probably doing better. And I'm glad he didn't because he got away with a bang out of all the challenge. And it goes to the right hand side. And there's a clever ball. They've got space to operate in here. Crooks with a low ball across. And again, Tim Ream in the right place, but he's uh, had to deflect it behind, divert it behind for a corner. I think it's Burroughs first for this second half. Could be a left footed shot which it is straight into the wall. It's hit a full and play hard that, but uh, I think it must have hit him in the face. The uh, home fans are not happy that play's been stopped, but it's Tavernier, I think, in the end, who's hit Tim Ream right in the face. Cross in there. Tim Ring comes and heads it back into the penalty area. Mitrovic, that's 1-0 to Fulham. They're looking across at the flag. Thankfully, it stayed down again this time. Down the left-hand channel, finds Niskin's Kibano. Early low ball, Mitrovic gets on it. It's 2-0. Absolutely mustered. Dekadova Reed can pick out Dennis Adoy. Up towards the edge of the penalty area, right-hand side. And Mitrovic, there it is. He didn't wait for the second half.